we are all human beings and human brain human psyche human this thing operates almost similarly the difference is how do you respond to it there is just like the rainfall it falls on all of us equally but with some people can catch cold some people have better climate some people have got the rain coat some people have this thing so the important thing is whenever you take major decisions whenever you take vital decisions there is always a sense of anxiety uncertainty because you are not a crystal gazer you cannot tell the future and you get to know whether the decision was right or wrong only after the event is over the important thing is how do you cope with that how do you plan for that now the way i can tell you is this that is if i take a decision i work out a worst case scenario i will say if everything goes wrong what will happen and then you find that okay if everything goes wrong what can happen is affordable you may get a little bad press you may get some bad media but nation won't suffer maybe sometimes we may lose some lives doesn't matter but we can manage with that the country can bear that shock after having worked out the worst case scenario you try to improve on that that is how do i see that is if you know if i buy a lottery ticket or if i if i if i say that if i'm going to do a job it's going to cost me 500 rupees if it is wrong but i say how can i reduce the cost so you start making preparations to make it more affordable till you bring it to the point where you think that the risk is worth taking which requires time which requires preparation which at times in our job i was trying to make is that to deal with fear articulate that fear in specific words and you will find the fear is not very big it is not as big as you are really worried about it is much less than that not only that you can further reduce it by through a preparation through a better knowledge through a better then the another important thing is that for vital decisions you must have a contingency plan that is the fallback position if things you know whatever you do a situation gets changed now that situation is a new situation that you have to cope with and if you have got to cope with that situation that is what we say is the new contingency it can be favorable it can be unfavorable so you are talking about this uh, operation of balakot now there after the media is uh, the same but well, this is a new situation it's a favorable situation but still a new situation so you plan with it that how will you do the perception management or how will you, or then there will be an international decision so you will work out that is what will be your contingency plans after the news the old one is over favorable or unfavorable a new situation will emerge and then you have got to deal with that so i think thereafter the fear level becomes very low you know that you have capital for it you know that you are prepared for it you know that you have got the uh, requisite uh, talent knowledge resources and everything has been lined up come come what may and we will deal with it well first let us understand that we all take hundreds of decisions every day whether what to dress or what to eat or where to sit or what this thing what exactly makes a decision tough what are the tough decisions tough decisions are where the consequences are going to affect a large number of people for a long period of time the risks are high because some of those wrong decisions may change the course of history like say when india got its independence and the merger of the states was going a decision was taken that is let us go to the united nations because the from the pakistani side the masquerade has come with the arms and others rather than taking them headlong strongly we thought that let us go to the united nations and thereafter we got into a situation where it became internationalized and we could not the pakistan occupied kashmir liberated so that was a decision that has got a long term consequence even till today all the problems of kashmir are because of that otherwise 535 states had been uh, merged with india so it was also one of the other princely state which had merged with india but since we had taken the decision to go to the united nations and thereby we found it difficult that the un position was not something which was in consonance with our national interest so how do you take the tough decisions the first thing is that you must have clarity of objectives take out all adjectives all adverbs it should be only the nouns and the verbs make it as small and as simple as possible don't say we are going to fight terrorism that is not the thing in this particular case say that we are going to neutralize 
on such and such date, such and such person, or such and such module, or such and such thing like that. That is a specific course of action about which you have got a clarity. And when that happens, this is the next thing that I have got to do. So your objectives must be very well defined. We normally, particularly the Indian mind, gets bogged down with a lot of philosophies, thinkings, thoughts, worries, anxieties and others. But on the focus, it is not very clear. You must do an objective analysis of your strength, of your circumstances, of your limitations, of the resources available, of the possibilities that can happen. Now, when I say objective, it is very, very important. And that makes it my case. I never take a decision. I ask myself some questions. Am I angry? If I am angry, I never take a decision. Because normally, you have not taken an objective decision. Your objectivity suffers when you are angry. Am I afraid? If I am afraid, my decisions are not objective. The security of my life becomes more important for me. So my decision will be affected that after this, whether I will come alive or I will be dead. So I will say, okay, I will wait for another day. I will take a decision tomorrow. When I have sublimated myself, that no, it doesn't matter. If I die, I die. I am prepared for that. I have made arrangements for anything that I care for. That you may lose the job or you may lose the... Uh, you know, there are a lot of anxieties that people can have. Don't take a decision. Let it step this. You must take a decision to be objective in a completely calm state of mind, in a completely composed state of mind, in a completely neutral state. After you have got the objectives defined, see what are the different options by which you can achieve those objectives. Tough decisions do not leave many options, but still there are options. And your experience, your knowledge, makes those options, create those operations, or those options. So you say that, okay, I have to go from here to Canada Place. How do you select the best option? Each option has got a cost. Each option has got a time. Each option has got the opportunities in which it can be done. What suits you best? That is the best option, which is most cost effective and sure to get your objective. Now, who are the people normally do not take wrong decisions? They adopt a wrong option, which they say that our decision was wrong. It was not the decision that was wrong. It was the option that you adopted for it that is wrong. And why did you adopt the wrong option? Because you had not researched it. Your knowledge, your database, your experience, your communication with the people that did this thing, you had not done that well. And therefore, you select an option that is, I decide to go to Connaught Place via Chandi Chowk. And then I say, well, it has taken me two hours. It is not that going to Connaught Place was bad. It is that you decided to go the wrong way. How do you collect the wrong way when you see the map? when you know the every street and the, uh, every turn into the map and then you will reach in the fastest possible way using the minimum amount of patrol. Select the option, then start preparing for it. And that is the most important thing. And I want to emphasize on this, that this is very, very important that you have to give your best. Your decisions are not right or wrong. What happens is this, that you take a decision but then you don't work towards it to fructify it with a total commitment, with total, uh, you know, give your 